Cooking is a great activity to involve your child in. It helps with reading, measuring, following instructions, developing confidence and a sense of achievement. However, the kitchen can be a dangerous place if a child isn't supervised correctly. So here are a few hints to help your child. First up, they shouldn't be using hot water, the stove, the oven or sharp knives without parent supervision. The younger the child, the more supervision they need. It's up to the parent to decide the level of assistance. Tell your child what to do if an oven or fry pan on the stove catches fire. The first thing they should do is get an adult to put out the fire. Never throw water on an oil fire. If the oven is on fire, never open the door. Teach your child what to do and make sure they know how to phone for assistance. Make sure that they understand that the number one priority is their safety and that they get away from the fire without being burnt. Tell them not to put a fire out themselves, but to always get an adult to do it and to make sure that they are safe. Also make sure that no cords are hanging down from the cupboards. Too many children are badly burnt by hot oil from deep fryers or hot water from kettles and jugs. Teach your child how to cut safely with a knife or a vegetable peeler. Teach them to cut away from their body. When your child is old enough, Don't you can teach them how to place a saucepan or a fry pan safely on the stove top. When boiling water on the stove, either have the saucepan at the back of the stove, or if you have it at the front, make sure the handle is facing away from you, so nobody can knock it over. Because if the handle is facing out like this, somebody could easily walk past and spill it, making the hot water go everywhere. Teach your child that steam can burn just as badly as hot water or a fire. Often children will put their head over a saucepan or a fry pan with steam coming out of it to check out the food and they can very badly scald their skin. Also make sure that they don't put their hands over the steam. Teach your child never to stand in front of the microwave while it's on because it does emit some radiation. Also teach your child never to heat water in a mug or a cup in the microwave. This is because the water, when it's heated in a microwave, doesn't boil. There have been many cases where people have done this and when they've taken the water out of the microwave, it has exploded in their face and burnt their skin. Also teach your child that a microwave doesn't always heat food evenly. Sometimes there'll be cold bits and sometimes there'll be boiling hot bits. So just make sure that they're aware of this. And also some plates can heat up really badly in the microwave and may burn their hands when they get food out of the microwave. Our last piece of advice is about toasters. Now, often toast will get stuck in a toaster and the temptation for both adults and children is to use a knife to pull it out. You need to teach your child that they should never ever do this because they can be electrocuted. Um, I hope you found this advice useful. Visit our website for ideas, advice and lessons on kids cooking, guitar lessons, parent advice, personal and social skill development, schoolwork and homework help and how to teach babies and toddlers. www.howtohelpchildren.com